when you are ready to create a folder that the public can view anywhere with no signing required, you need to navigate yourself to Google Drive. When you're in Google Drive, please put yourself to where you want this folder to reside and then choose New, Folder. Give that folder a name and I would remind yourself what it is, Public Access, and press Create. Once that's created, you're going to give sharing privileges to that particular folder. Right click on this, choose Share, and then choose Advanced. Under Advanced, right now it's private only you can access. We need to change that by pressing this button and make it on, public on the web. Anyone on the internet can find and access, no signing required. It should be by default, can view, press save. And this is now the URL that takes anybody to your folder to view what is in there. You can copy that. You can also press done and find it again over here. Notice your silhouette. This is a reminder that this is a shared folder. If you right click on this, you can choose get shareable link. And this is another way you can find that link. You can highlight that and do control C and copy that URL. You will share that URL with the person in charge in your building at collecting these addresses to put to your staff profile page. Notice now, when you get into this web page, this folder that is now shared on the internet, anything you put into this folder will automatically receive those same rights and privileges. So if we go here and we choose a new file upload, I can navigate myself to this new uh, sheet and we'll find something like an October newsletter as a PDF. This is the preferred method that you're going to want to put things in there. And as you upload it, you'll see that it has sharing privileges already. Anybody with that URL will be able to get to this October newsletter. Notice that you can also create new subfolders. And so we can say vocab if we have vocab sheets. And we can also go in there and we create another new folder. We can say we might do spelling. And so as we create these folders, the same rights and privileges continually get added to anything that we upload, drag and drop, or create into this folder. It's a one-time management ordeal. And as you continually manage this folder, you can go back in here and just double check exactly how it is being viewed. So if I right click on this again and choose get shareable link, I can copy this and I can also choose to go to a different mode and see exactly how it shows up for the public. So I press control V, I can take that URL, press enter, and you'll see that anybody that goes to this folder will see I have spelling, vocab, and a newsletter. You will see that when users are in this folder, it has a folder name up here and they, they're not signed in automatically. And then from there, they can choose to download it by pressing this download button right there. And you can download that newsletter. They can also click on it one time and it can show this fictitious newsletter. And then from there, they can print it or download it again. And then they can go into multiple subfolders and see what they have to be viewed.